Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is a historical fiction book review for That Summer in Berlin by Alicia Cornwall. Now, um, the majority of historical fiction books that I have the pleasure of reading take place during World War II. Of course, I read other books that are historical fiction that don't involve the war at all, but most of the ones that I read do. But this book took place prior to World War II. In fact, it was during 1936. Now, what was happening in 1936? Well, it was the summer of 1936 and the Berlin Summer Olympics was in the process of about to go on. Now, that involves the opening ceremonies and all the sports and the closing ceremonies, ceremonies and all of that. But while that was going on, the Germans were preparing for the next world war. And as they were preparing for the next world war, lots of things were going on, lots of nefarious things were going on that would present, as we now know, massive chaos, massive ruin to the lives of so many. Well, our principal characters in this book, most notably Vivian Alden, but also Tom Graham had pivotal roles in this book. Now, what did they do? Well, first of all, Vivian had a hobby and her hobby involved this camera. And it, it's ironic because the author's name is Licia, but the camera was called Lika. So it's just kind of ironic. So Vivian had this camera and she excelled at photography. Anybody that knew Vivian wanted her to take their picture. And they had a way to develop these pictures and, and make these memories for people. So Vivian took this talent and she had gone to Berlin at, at first with the guise of taking photos at the games. She was there with her sister, but she was able to be recruited as a spy. So those pictures that she took gave her an edge as far as the activities that she was about to become involved in. Now, meanwhile, there's Tom Graham. He was a, a journalist and his job was basically to write stories, especially stories about the Berlin Olympic Summer Games. Well, Tom also acted as a spy. Now, while Vivian is taking pictures and Tom is writing the articles. Sometimes they work together and they face some very dangerous situations together. In fact, there was a scene, there was one particular scene that, that comes to mind that was so tense. It just, I felt like I was gripping my hands together while I was listening because I use Kindle text to speech most of the time. Then we have other characters in this book who were seemingly on the side of Vivian and Tom, but then you see betrayal started to eke in. So you have intrigue, you have betrayal, you have danger, but you also have romance because something is brewing between Vivian and Tom. And really that's, that's all I need to say. I don't really need to go on any further other than to tell you that Alicia Cornwell wrote a fabulous book first book I have read by her, but my goodness gracious, it was good. This is a Berkeley publication, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think I did it. Yeah, Berkeley Books. It comes out on the 11th, but I'm going to pop this video up today because I, my blog tour is for today. But hopefully you'll take a look at this book if you like historical fiction. And like I said, what's great about this book is it's a different side of pre-war Germany and oh, did I mention that while the Germans were planning the war and what they were going to do to so many millions of people, while the games were going on, Germany was acting nice. Everything was peachy keen and fine. And 
that that was another level to the story that I thought I should tell you about. But that's all I'm going to say about that summer in Berlin. But I want to thank you for watching and hopefully you'll grab this book and let me know what you think about it if you do read it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.